Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I'm making a video about Active Directory disaster recovery. You know, like everything is cratered and there's no single domain controllers left and all I have is a system state backup from a domain controller. But my simple system state backup keeps failing. The task scheduler shows 0x3 is the outcome. That doesn't read like a happy ending. It is clear that this event in the application log is associated with the start of the system state backup. Cryptographic services failed while processing the on identity call in the system writer object. This is CAPI2 event ID 513. Fortunately, there seems to be solid hits on this topic. This article here summarizes two Microsoft Knowledge Base articles. Look for the links in the description below. We are just going to follow these steps to give permission to the user NT Authority system to perform the work on the server. And this is Microsoft Knowledge Base article 209272. I'm copying and pasting this block of code into a command prompt. I've never been more excited than this. Watching all this output reminds me of the matrix. Wow. Okay, finally it stopped. All right, let's try running the backup again. No, immediately you can see the same 513 error in the application log right after backup starts. This second part of the first Microsoft Knowledge Base article relates to the system writer not being in the output from the VSS admin list writers command, but that's not the issue in this case. We can see it's in that list, and we don't see this 8213 error in the event logs. So let's go look at the second Microsoft Knowledge Base article. And this again is specific to the cryptographic services failed CAPI2 event ID 513 error. And this is Microsoft Knowledge Base article 3209092. So we follow this procedure as well to give the user NT authority system access to the MSLLDP DLL, the Microsoft Link Layer Discovery Protocol Driver. Okay, that's done. So let's try running our backup again. This looks promising. I'm not getting that 513 error in the application log immediately after backup starts. So we'll be right back. This is going to take a while. Okay, we're back. Now we can see the scheduled task has completed successfully. In Windows Backup, we can see the backup has a valid recovery point. Now I can go on to make my Active Directory Domain Controller Disaster Recovery video, so stay tuned. Comment below if this helped you resolving your issue. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my Windows Server Administration playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.